Hi everyone, welcome to the sale of this very exciting 2004 BMW R1100S. Um, very rare bikes, I've only sold a couple of these before in our 24 years of being open. Um, I'll tell you what, what a unique thing it is to ride. I road tested this afternoon once the workshop has been right through it. Um, tall seat height, first thing to say, if you've never ridden one, they are tall, so if you're, if you're anything under sort of I say 5'8", you're going to struggle if I'm honest with you, I'm, I'm getting on towards 6 feet and I wasn't far off at tiptoes but um, yeah, do your sort of Wikipedia and your Google homework if you're not aware of what the boxer cups are but uh, really really trick looking thing obviously lovely paint scheme with the blue front wheel and the white rear and of course the, uh, the infamous twin underseat exhaust pipes that came on them with the proper sort of Boxer 1100S motor in there and the single side swinging arm, so that's a really cool looking bike, isn't it? You know, very unique. Uh, got a lot of looks when I was out riding it as well. It's got a really cool 04 plate on there. I'm not sure if that's uh, was originally registered on or if it's a private plate, but it is an 04 bike as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna walk you around it. It's not a showroom one. We priced it accordingly. Um, it's been used. Um, but fortunately for whoever buys it, it is uh, gonna be on the receiving end of about a 600 pound workshop bill. Um, it's booked in this week for a full service, including obviously oil and filter, uh, new plugs in it as well. Um, we have got some front discs to go on it. They were um, an advisory. We do like a pre-MOT check, so it'll be sold with a new 12 months MOT and the front discs were just slightly warped. Um, so I've ordered um, a brand new set of front discs uh, and obviously front pads to go with it as well. And we're gonna drop some fork seals in there because one of the fork legs is uh, weeping slightly. So it will have everything done to it, uh, including a new battery as well for sale because the battery's um, about four years old that's in there. So we'll put a new battery on there so someone can benefit from a, a, a complete sort of um, mechanical makeover. So let's run you around the aesthetics. Um, so just to show you what you're getting. Um, got a, a blue tinted screen now any connoisseurs here might be able to pick me up on it feel free to comment if you want but um, I'm guessing the blue screen is aftermarket uh, I don't think they came with the sort of carbon bits there and the outer cases in carbon I'll stand to be corrected um, that looks more like an OEM sort of fitment carbon mud guard um, so paintwork wise I mean it's it's a used bike, it's certainly not been a showroom queen. If you look at the front of the block, I mean, I've seen them with 5,000 miles on um, and the paint comes off, but the paint's definitely come off the front bit there. There's some stone chip into the belly pan at the bottom. Um, side panel is in very good condition, I'd say. A couple of age-related marks. If you get getting really close, you'll just see the odd, very slight mark here. But it's nice to see it like that. It's honest, it's original paint. Um, I mean, there's even a couple of just red marks here that they'll that's probably scratch off if I yeah, put a bit of water so I'll just bring them out for you but uh, yeah there's a few little marks around it uh, we haven't gone mad and acid the exhaust or anything silly equally like the rear hugger you can see the lack has really started to fade on that uh, wheel paint's actually really good I'd say uh, the seat unit's really good the seat covering's really nice um, I'm guessing they came with the um, sort of solo seat cover option because that's an OEM the NW part. Uh, these are laser exhausts on there. It sounds really nice. It, to be honest, it doesn't really sound a lot different to sort of a standard 1100 motor. I think, I mean, they're laser, but they look fully baffled. Um, obviously being twin silent, so it does keep it quite quiet. So it's certainly not loud and offensive. Um, that beautiful look with the under seat pipes and the single side swinging arm. Um, adjustable BMW suspension in there, which has got the adjuster placed over on the right hand side here for preload adjustment sort of on the go. Um, all the tank area is lovely and clean. It's even got the original sort of warning stickers on here, which is nice to see. Um, I bring you around to this side. It's got a charger lead on there. Belly pan. It's got some heat sort of discoloration around by the decals. Uh, but again, in good condition. Side panel, we've got just a couple of, again, very small age-related marks. There's no scuff marks on it or anything silly. This is probably the worst area. I'll bring you in close so you can see. Um, the silver on the bottom of the fork legs, um, you can just see there. I mean, that probably wants sort of detailing in, if I'm honest with you, maybe get them redone at some point. Um, 
there we go. All right, so uh, we've got 44,000 miles on it. 44738. Pop the ignition on. A little bit cold. They do actually have a, um, a choke on here, so what I'll do is I'm just going to leave a little bit of choke on here. Always start our bikes up from stone cold so you can um, see them sort of started as normal. Fairly sunny this evening, but uh, still wait for the summer to come to be honest. So, just see if we can uh, get the choke off there. Just let it go for a little bit and warm up before I bring the revs up a little bit for you. So, as you can hear, it sounds really quite quiet if I'm honest. It sounds like a completely standard. BMW. Smooth engines, lovely on the go as well. I think they were just a touch under 100 brake horsepower, but super usable power with it. side to side as well being a boxer engine so there we have it guys very rare to find 2004 BMW R1100 S boxer car thanks for watching